Okay, we'll be learning how to measure voltage, and we'll be using a multimeter in Tinkercad. This will be part one. First thing we need is a breadboard, the small one, and we're going to put it down here in the lower right side. And next, we're going to need um, a multimeter. So let's go find a multimeter. There we go. There's our multimeter. And we'll put it right on top here where we can kind of measure things going on. And we're going to need a source of power that we can actually change. So that's why I'm not using the battery because the battery here would stay at 1 voltage. That would stay at 9 volts. That would stay at 1.5 volts. So I want to be able to change my voltage. So let's leave the basics and we'll go to all components. And find a power source we can change. And this power supply we can actually change the voltage. So let's grab this guy. This is good. Okay, now let's start making some connections. Okay, this is all my positive power. I'm going to put all my positive power on this line right here. So all of this will be positive once I connect it. So let's press here. It's positive power. And then go here and connect him. And I want to make the wire red so we can remember that's positive power. Okay. And my negative power, typically I put it right here, but I'm going to put it up top here. So all this will be negative. So let's change my color to black. And now we'll use a black wire going here, there. I'll kind of stop in the middle here and I'll go up to here. And then I'll connect that. And that's going to be my positive power. And pull that up just for neatness. <laughs> okay, so we got. Positive power all down here, negative power all down there. So we need a few components that we're going to use. Let's go back to basic. And I want to use my LED lights. So this first LED light I'm going to put right at 5. Okay. So right here. Eh, yeah, about right here, about 5. And the next one I'm going to put another light at 10. And the only reason why I'm calling out the numbers is so no one gets confused that they just have to have a little space in between them. You know, it doesn't have to be this exact space. And I'll put this one at 15. Now, uh, if I give all of these power right now, about 5 volts is what I'm going to give them all at first. They're all going to blow. So I'm going to need a resistor. So I want to give this guy right here positive power. But if I give him positive power from here, he's going to blow up. So I'm going to put a little resistor right there. So any power that goes to him will have a resistor and kind of slow it down. So now let's connect this resistor right here to the positive power. So I'll get a little red wire connected right here. And this component will go all the way through here and keep going. And then we'll go all the way up here. So let's make that wire red. So that'll be all positive power going from here to here to here. And then all of these are connected. So it's still going there. And then it will come out of the resistor and go here. And you see all of these are connected, so it will finally reach the light bulb. And then I want negative power on this one right here. So all of these are negative powers. Oh, let's make it black so we know we're dealing with negative power. And so let's take it from here. And then I'll go to this spot right here. And then I'll go over here and give him negative power. All right, connect. Okay. There we go. All right, so we got positive power over here, negative power over there, and a resistor. Now we're going to connect these two right here. Um, let's use a whole other color. So this is not necessarily negative or positive. So we're going to use green. So we're going to connect this anode right here to it. Kind of curve around here with the wire and put them over here. So now these two are connected. Now I want to connect these two. So I'll connect this part right here. And then go over here and then connect them there. Okay. There we go. So they're all kind of connected. So this goes into the light and the power goes through here. And the power goes into this light and then goes through here. It goes through this light and goes all around the light and then finally connects there. So we've got a nice circuit going here. All right. Let's turn everything on and start the simulation. And it starts off with 5 volts, which is perfect. That's what we want. We want 5 volts. And the lights are all on. Okay. So we're not checking the voltage just yet. We're just making sure all the lights turn on.